real that it's very scary, even more frightening what others could and have been doing with them. The risk goes way beyond just underage drinking. Fake IDs on college campuses like Marquette University are nothing new. Caffrey's Bar has two large boxes full of confiscated fake IDs. We had them check ours out. Up it in. It's hard to get one past these guys. I mean, it looks like it came from the DMV downtown. They'd probably get in, wouldn't they? Absolutely. Even the bar's owner, Mike Fatucci, put our ID to the test by scanning the barcode on the back. All the correct information popped right up. That's good. That's, uh, that's beyond good. Um, it's, it's quite scary, actually. We took those same IDs to a veteran detective with 28 years experience. And at first glance, how's that look? Looks good. Remember, IDs are used to board planes, trains, establish credit. The quality of the ones the I-Team bought are so good, the federal government is worried about how many are out there and how they're being used. Without technology, somebody could theoretically get past the TSA checkpoint. So how did the I-Team get our hands on such a real looking ID? Well, it was easy. We just went right to the internet. We aren't going to name the company, but followed their simple instructions. Picked a Wisconsin driver's license, typed in a birth date, took a picture. And not long after, we got an email with more instructions. Just wire 200 bucks via Western Union. And a few weeks later, a silver package from China arrives. The customs receipt claims it's a metal puzzle sample. I don't know what this is, but it looks like we got ripped off. We specifically requested the company follow all U.S. custom laws when shipping. Well, wait a second. And a closer look at the package reveals hidden. Underneath the puzzle, wrapped in paper, was there. my two Wisconsin driver's license. Wow. Perfectly legal to buy, but illegal to use. Is that a start in getting a whole bunch of other IDs? Oh, it certainly can be. The company makes these IDs to say whatever you want. You can put in any name, any age. In this case, with my co-worker's permission, I became fellow I-Team investigator Steve Shamaraz, just to show how easy it is to steal someone's identity. It's been done many times. And then after the driver's license, they were able to get other fraudulent documents, and uh, he was uh, able to leave the country for a short period of time. We eventually caught up to him. Boarding planes and passing security checks is what worries immigration and customs enforcement agents the most. So we view that as a potential national security threat. Last July, the Cook County Sheriff's Department intercepted more than 1,700 of these IDs, catching them all in the mail. All the IDs coming from the same company in China. Understandable, considering it offers a discount if you order in bulk. Well, Sheriff Tom Dart calls it a tough battle. It. Good luck shutting down websites. Um, it's very, very tricky. And back at Caffrey's Bar in Milwaukee, Eric the Bouncer shared his final thoughts about our fake IDs. I hope this is the last one I ever see. <laughs> Well, I can tell you this will be the last time you see this fake ID because we're going to cut it up right here, right, make sure yeah. that it's not used. Good story. A little scary. bit scary. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, thank, thank you, you very guys. much.